I'm Stephen Brown with Lee County Extension and we're in Southwest Florida and today's plant is the red mangrove. The red mangrove is a unique plant because what it does have are these what we call aerials or prop roots and as they reach for the water they will eventually anchor this plant over the water and give it an ecological advantage. Even as a young tree, the red mangroves begins to put out its aerial roots. These are not yet attached to the soil and they still have several more inches to go. Aerial roots are produced on aerial roots. Here for example is an old aerial roots and a new one is extending itself from the older roots. Aerial roots are also produced from branches. Take a look at this one. It starts from this branch and extends itself downwards. It's got to be about six feet right now and within a few inches it will be in the soil and be rooted really well within the soil. Look at this one right here. These are like they just seek the water. The roots of the red mangrove actually grows in saltish or brackish water. Now, that sets up a special ecosystem that we call the mangoes. Now, within the mangoes, we have specific animals and plant life that are well adapted to grow within this array of roots as the water comes and goes out. Look at these beautiful prop roots. There is nothing better than prop roots buffering the land against the almighty Gulf waters. As we walk along here, you can see I have on my left red mangroves and on my right Brazilian pepper. Now, this is an invasive, the Brazilian pepper. We don't want it anywhere near the mangroves. In fact, it is fighting to take over the beautiful mangroves. We cannot let that happen. Now, the mangrove is native to Florida. It goes to Louisiana, Texas, you know those Gulf states. Then it also extends into the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and of course, it goes into South and Central America. It is also native as far away as West Africa. Now the roots of these mangroves serve a definite purpose. What they do is they tangle up any debris or they're actually a barrier and keep the sand, the beach in place. And as you can see, they will also entrap human oddities that try to make it their home. An acre of red mangrove is supposedly deposit about 3.6 ton of litter on the floor of the forest, so to speak, every year. That's about 7,000 pounds. And when it does, guess what happened? All of this litter from these leaves decompose to produce, look at this, this black gold. Of course, if this was to be exposed and you cut all this mangrove down to the sunlight, what would happen is with no new litter fall, you'll have oxidation. And this right here will subside and become smaller and smaller and smaller as the years go by. As you can clearly see, the leaves are oppositely arranged and they're also evergreens. The leaves are three to five inches long and about one to two and a half inches broad. They have an ellipse shape and they have a prominent midrib. 
Is this a better example? They have a prominent midrib, and if I flip it over, you can see the underside, prominent midrib, but a lighter shade of green on the backside. These are the flowers. They're actually self-pollinated or wind-pollinated. And from these flowers, what emerge are what we call propagules. So this is a newly formed propagules. Take a look at it right here. And this will elongate as it develops into longer and longer propagules. And finally, when the propagule actually matures on the mother plant, it itself is also, there you go, a small living plant that falls to the ground. And from that point on, it has to root into the soil. If it doesn't root, it dies. Consequence of survival of the fittest. Here we have some fallen mature propagules. Here's an example of one that is beginning to grow. You can see that it is rooted into the soil and here we have what will become the top growth of this plant. Later on what happened is the new leaves are beginning to take shape. You can clearly see them here and this is where it all leads. We finally get a young plant that is nurtured and still being shaded by the mother plant. So this is an ideal place for these young red mangroves to establish themselves and grow into the magnificent beauties we know them as. This is Stephen Brown, your extension agent in Southwest Florida. I always pick up plastic bottles. And as usual, there is always something new to learn in the Florida landscape. See you next time. County Extension is a partnership between the USDA, the University of Florida IFAS, and Lee County Government.